Hey, what's going on chess fanatics? Round 32 of the Rapid Rapid Chess Challenge, where we take 10 minute games in the pool, speed them up, see what happens. Without further ado, we're gonna just hop on here, play a 10 minute game, see who we get. Currently rated at uh, 1637, opponent 1681, Blues Clues 87, opens with D4. Okay, let's go with five okay we're gonna do a bit of a slab here uh knight to f6 everything's pretty standard refrain from taking the pawn as that'll accelerate the opponent's development so i think what we're gonna do instead of castle is oh sorry we should actually take the pawn now uh, as it wastes the tempo now what if we bring our knight in so castles castles let's just back it up see if they chase us seems relatively standard so far the opponent playing out of the usa been on a little bit of a uh, seemingly downward trend as of late it seems but um, that's okay it happens sometimes you know what uh, I wonder like if we wind up moving this bishop it is entirely possible that uh, they'll just come and try and hunt us so I'm gonna just chop that off the board and uh, what we'll do is centralize the knight open up the attack on the bishop um, I'm assuming, let's just, so how to do this, yeah, we will take, maybe bring the rook out, as there's always a possibility of something opening up, might have to pick up the pace a little bit. Okay. Uh, maybe we should have actually developed out to f6. This is the problem with playing too quickly. Uh, we now op open up the uh, e4 square here for the opponent. And Had a package dropped off. Looks like our opponent wound up taking. Um, okay, so we will take towards the center. And uh, looking a little bit drawish. Okay, so we will take. Um, Create some luft. Have to try and play a little bit more solid. So we might want to just look to start centralizing some pieces, potentially trade down. Um, not sure the resulting end game here, but it looks like okay. I'm gonna target the pawn. That's fine. What if we centralize here? So, well, it's possible the rook can infiltrate. They can't easily attack anything. Um, I mean, the f7 pawn would be weak, but we could easily defend that. Okay, now, what if we take, what if we, what if we push? I'm assuming pawn takes, otherwise they're gonna have splits. Uh, I guess if they take, then queen take, and that would re-centralize, but we don't. Yeah. Okay, so... 
we'll just drop back that way uh, we're attacking the rook but also if they infiltrate we'll have f7 covered and we'll always be able to potentially push uh, b5 and then a5 okay so yeah good move okay so we're gonna just try and play solid here okay so makes sense okay interesting so our opponent wants to come in potentially and try and win this pawn however what if we just play queen up now it kind of holds them at bay because if we're taking we're going to take with check granted i could be missing something super obvious okay so there we there we have it opponent looking to so takes takes so we can just shuffle a rook around and look to make a draw and they'll come over we'll come over King down, check, king up. Oh, that might have been a mistake. And it definitely was. Now, if we move over, takes. If we do nothing, they're going to play check, king up takes yeah they're gonna look to promote that pawn okay let's just go over I suppose just out for a draw So if we go here, check, king up, where's, where's the rook go? Hmm. Yeah, good move. Good move. Yeah. Boy, we are looking at a... Uh, had a tough one here. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Trade him off and promote. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this is useless, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's just time to resign. Uh, I think it's pretty good game. Obviously, I uh, just lost in the, I'm assuming, uh, in the end game here. Uh, must have lost opposition, so I'm hoping that it's relatively flat. And then, yeah, towards the, towards the end there, it just became a bit of a lost cause, so... Pretty standard slav here. Very consistent. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming I should have played g7. Kept opposition. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is unfortunate, especially with the coverage from uh, the pawn. It's hard for the rook to get in and activate. That uh, that definitely makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, it was all lost from here, so uh, I think we played it pretty solid on the most part. Obviously, uh, just made that blunder, which... You know, I potentially should have seen. Obviously, maintaining opposition is an important concept, uh, but we just uh, just missed it for whatever reason. So, I guess that's how she goes sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, we will look to improve our end game technique, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, currently rated at uh, sixteen thirty at this point in time. Hopefully, we're able to turn this around and uh, get back up in and around sixteen fifties. But time will tell. Thanks a lot. Bye.